In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a high altitude jet in a Westinghouse iGen 4500DF generator. So you got to pull off this side panel and then we also got to pop off this outer shroud because we got to get to some bolts that are back here. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to get to them. So we should be able to remove some bolts around the edge and pop this sucker out. Before I jump into this video, I hope you consider subscribing, uh, give the video a like, and leave any comments down below. We don't do these all the time. Sometimes it is a guessing game of what you got to take off to get this panel off. So be patient with it, wiggle it, figure out where it's still attached. So, for some reason, the stud came out on that one. Interesting. All right, so the only thing holding on back there is this gas line. Yeah, for the propane and the gas. But we may be able to get this done without pulling it all the way out. So what I'm going to try to do here is just angle the carburetor. Oh, I thought it was a 13 is not but just angle the carburetor and take off this bottom bolt gas is going to come out of course all right we're going to remove the main jet and then we're going to put the new one in All right, now we just gotta get everything back in the way it came out. All right, I got the carburetor mounted back in, but I don't have everything put together yet. I don't have the air filter on, I don't have the case back on yet. I want to make sure that once I turn the gas on, gas isn't leaking everywhere and that it actually starts up and runs because if there's an issue, I don't want to have to pull all this apart again to get back in there. I don't see any leaks, so let's go ahead and try to start it up. All right, it's running. So now we can put the plastic cover back on. 